All right, guys, so what's up? Um, just a quick intro to the intro. This loss you see, you will see in the first game, and then the second game, you will be able to see how these tactics are played correctly when you are in good fucking connection, EA. So yeah, uh, now here is the past me. Yo, what is up? Welcome back to the fucking channel. All right, so I've been asked to do Real Madrid. So I did Real Madrid. Now, I have used this team in the tournament mode. That that inter game was really hard. That inter game, there's something about inter this year, bro. Like that game was awfully close, but, and I just used them right there, right? 7-0 against another Real Madrid. Just to give you a little, now these are my preferences. This is how I want to play this team. I've tried using this team and they moved everything out of place. I've tried using this team multiple times, found something that worked and I was like, ah, oh, if you play, if you play accordingly, this should get you done, all right? So this is what we're gonna do. First off, we're gonna put everyone back in the positions they're supposed to be in like this. Now it is a 4-3-3 holding. Vinicius on the left, Benzema the main man in the middle, Rodrigo on the right, Calavinga, Modric, Tadegemi in the midfield, Mendy, Rudiger, Militao, Carvajal, and Quartois on the back. Listen up. Just like in Liverpool's formation, substitutions are pivotal, bro. Substitutions are pivotal that you make the right subs with these tactics. So first off, Camavingo will be substituted out for Tony Cross. Listen to me. Tony Cross for Calavinga when it comes for the substitution. Just like in real life, actually. In real life, Cross starts, Calavinga comes in after. All right, Valverde will be making the substitution for Luka Modric. You get me? That's how we doing it. Luka Modric substitution for Valverde. Rodrigo, we will be substituting in Vasquez. Lucas Vasquez will play in Rodrigo's position there, right? You see Lucas Vasquez has high medium work rates. He can also play right wing and he has decent enough stats to play right wing. So that's what we're going to do. Alaba will be subbed in for Tadiemi. So we're going to have him in that CDM position because Rudiger and Minotown should hold it down. That's basically it on substitutions. That's what I've used basically on substitutions, okay? So the tactics are pressure on heavy touch, 50, 60. Now I tried press after possession loss, but seeing how Real Madrid at times can feel so clunky and just certain players can't turn, it's not good to just write off press after possession loss. So I do have one press on heavy touch. Balance, you know, direct passing, all right? 40, four, two, and two. So I'll let you look over that again. So you ain't gotta rewind. All right, that says two and just change it. Now, instructions wise, we only have Vinny Jr. on get in behind. That's it, just get in behind. Benzema, we keep him on basic. I do not want, you do not, I do not, you do not want Benzema to be just making, because direct passing is already going to have them making those runs, but you just don't want Benzema to be out in La La Land running straight down the line because he's not, he's strong and he has a little bit of pace, but he's not quick enough on the turn for you to just try to run in behind with. You kind of have to build up slow with Benzema and, and, and be smart and take your chances. So that's why we just have him on mixed attack. And then we have Rodrigo on cut inside. Midfield wise, we have Callum Vingo on stay back while attacking. Now he will occasionally make those runs to run in behind and give you that pass and option because he has high, high work rates. So I just also too want to make sure we stay back while attacking. All right, so it's at a Yimmy, man mark, stay back while attacking. Luka Modric on get forward. That's it. Luka Modric, get forward, do your thing, whop the bams. Now, Mindy will be on overlap. We will be using Mindy for the overlap. Rudiger, stay back. Minotau, stay back. Connor Calvajal, stay back while attacking. And Courtois, just on balance because he already has good keeper animations. So this is what the team looks like defensively. You see everybody's placements, take it in. It's the false nine formation. It's their basic formation they start off with. But what I did was I dropped them back 40-40, make it narrow, drop them down on the pitch. Balance, balance, 50 with 4-2-2. Two, two. 
instructions. Vinny, stay forward, cut inside, get in behind. You're still gonna need one player to at least get you out of your half when you're trying to defend. You're gonna need at least one player to get you out of your half. And Vinny's gonna be that guy we all know, pace demon, five-star skills, very agile, and can just cook opponents. So that's where you have him on. Benzema, just play that false nine roll and stay forward. That's it. I don't really want him to come back too far because we also need that passing option out. So just play the false nine and stay forward. Rodrigo, cut inside, get him behind. All right, so just like if you watch my um, my Tottenham Hotspur tactics, you need these front three when it comes to defending. You need these front three to be on point and you have to kind of play with these front three until your midfield gets up there. Now your midfield, counter Vinga, stay on, stay back while attacking, stay on the edge of the box for crosses. Luka Modric, just on get into the box for crosses. That's if you get up that high, you're not having no passing options. Luka Modric will make that run to the middle. You can twirl around in circles, pass off, loop it over the top, Luka Modric. Now, Tadayemi, cut passing lanes, drop in between defenders. We're going to turn this into a fight back, all right? We are ratting this out. Drop in between defenders on Tadayemi and cover center. So he's going to play right between Rudiger and Minotone. Now, the whole back line this time, stay back while tapping, and I just throw over overlap for Mendy just for a little spice, you know? That's what it looks like. Courtois, come for crosses. We'll have the BAMs, and those are my Real Madrid tactics. Now, I will be playing a game if you want to see. If not, make sure you like and subscribe so far. And uh, yeah, let me know how it goes for you. Oh, this is great. Barcelona, El Clasico. Oh, what is this ping? Uh, it's in the 90s, bro. Oh, this is going to be a difficult game. My ping is in the 90s, bro. I might not be able to play this game. I might not be able to play this game. What is my... I can't really see it. It's in the 80s. When I tell you I feel it, I feel it. I can't move. Oh my God, I can't fucking move. can't move bro I, I can't move I legitly cannot fucking move this is crazy that's a goal I can't move bro I got 80 some ping I just can't move That's not where I aimed that pass. Oh, bruh, this is going to be devastating for me. I can't pull my players out of position, bro. Nah, I can't fucking move, dog. I should have backed out this game. I should have just took this loss. I can't move. And then I'm getting pressed when I can't move. And I yellowed, I red timed it. Why am I trying to time in connection like this? All right, I'm gonna have to go through adversity. <sighs> Benzema is open. And I red timed it again, bro. Why am I trying to time? I have to try to time because there's not gonna be enough power. The delay on the shooting. That's a fat ref. That's a fucking foul.
finally, bro. Oh my God, finally. It just takes me three hours to do anything, to get any type of responsiveness. I literally just can't move, bro. I can't move. This responsiveness is terrible, bro. I, I can't do this. I, I, I can't do this, bro. I can't do this, bro. I can't fucking dribble. I can't turn. That was fucking horrendous. Well, we'll try this again. Part two. Maybe I get better fucking connection. I don't have 80 ping and a nigga fucking shield dribbling the whole fucking time. Uh, then I got a pace demon on my hands. Ah, uh, yeah, smooth connection where I can fucking dribble even when I'm getting pressed. This is amazing. I love this. Ah, uh, Benzema. Look at the look at the difference of my gameplay when I can actually fucking dribble. Look at the difference of when I play, when I can actually do something and I'm not facing 80 fucking ping. Oh, uh, this dude's a fucking rat. Keep her movement. Let's go. Look at the difference when I can actually fucking move. Uh, kind of a vinga, bro. We kind of needed you there. And then Mindy just... I don't know what the f*** that was. That's okay, though, because we have Rudiger. And I just sold. I shouldn't have stepped over there. But luckily for me, this guy's a pace merchant. Vinny, what a goal. Oh, wow. Oh, yes, we get a rage quit. Wow, that's a great way to end this fucking video because, God damn, I'm fucking annoyed I just lost that game, bro. I lost because I genuinely just, I, I, I just couldn't fuck, I couldn't move, man. I just, I just really could not dribble, bro. 80 ping. 80 ping and that dude was playing like he plays on that normally yo get your connection up bro stop playing on wi-fi but anyways thank you for watching bro i'm glad i literally just able i was able to show you how these tactics actually fucking work uh yeah peace